Hey, if you're like me and like crispy, crunchy pickles, this is gonna be the video to watch. Hey folks, welcome back to the Rock and Sea Homestead. My name is Lance. I want to welcome you to our channel. And if crunchy pickles is what you like, this is going to be a video for you. So we're going to make a couple, we're going to make a batch, I should say, of refrigerator pickles. And it is really the truly only way to get a real good crispy, crunchy pickle, at least in my opinion. All right, so we are going to use a recipe out of the complete book for home preserving by Ball. So we live and die by this book. We're a uh, pretty... Pretty big sticklers when it comes to a complete ball certified, whatever certification that is for the for canning. So this is a refrigerator one, probably not as big a deal of you if you're not going to uh, water bath or uh, or pressure can it. But still, we want to follow the rules as much as possible. So that's who we are. But again, this is called a refrigerator dill slices recipe, and it's on 292 if you have this book. But again, uh, what we're going to do. Like I said, we had two and a half pounds of, of uh, cucumbers. We're going to do slices. I like to make them a little crinkle cut looking ones. So what we're going to do is kind of step through that process of cutting it, setting up the jars, making up the liquid, pouring it in, all those kind of fun things to kind of help you guys through this. Because if you're like us, you're at the very end of that uh, first batch, or for us, going to be the first batch of cucumbers, but our, but our cucumber plants are kind of dying out. We're not getting as many. So if you have a small batch of cucumbers come in, this is going to be a perfect recipe for you. All right, so we've got our cucumbers all nice and washed up. So we're actually using two different ones. This is more of a slicer, and this is a, actually a pickling cucumber. But the first thing that you need to do is... So this is the stem end of the cucumber, and this is the blossom end. Definitely the blossom end needs to come off. And then I also like to do, the, to do that end as well, just so it's kind of nice and neat there. And then how we do our slicers is we use a mandolin. So it's just a device that has a real sharp blade here and you just kind of run this back and forth. But I will say there is a little device that kind of holds this on here. I don't like using it very much. I hate to say that, but it, it's just hard to use for me. So. I risk it and just use my hands, but it has bit me a couple times, so you have to be careful. And on this, you just kind of run it through here. And then when it gets close to the bottom is when I start really being careful. Oh, it's kind of chunking it up. But the good thing about the mandolin is they all come out to be fairly equal size. Cucumbers or pickles. So they all look pretty similar. All right, we got all of our cucumbers cut up, so now we gotta make a brine for it. First thing on the brine is two cups of water and then two cups of vinegar, 5% acidity. Just your typical vinegar you get at the store usually. So we're just gonna bring this up to four cups. That's a little bit more. Okay, so that is the liquid for it. I'm just gonna put it in a stainless steel pot here. We got six tablespoons of pickling salt, so we just use this Morton canning and pickling salt. Two tablespoons of pickling spice, so it's this brand right here. We're using Ball. Then this recipe called for a quarter cup of sugar. And then we're just gonna turn that up and let it come to a boil and get all that uh, salt and sugar dissolved. All right, as you can see, it's boiling. All the salt and sugar has uh, dissolved. So now we're gonna turn it down and we're just gonna let it simmer here. We have to let it simmer here for 10 minutes. Okay, we've passed the 10 minute mark of just letting this 
just letting this uh, boil. So now what we're going to do is we're going to pour all this liquid over all of our cut cucumbers. And then we have some wax paper over here. We're going to put over here and then we have to wait about 30 minutes. We're going to cover it with the wax paper and let it cool down to room temperature. And that kind of slowly cooks it a little bit. Okay, now we're setting the timer for 30 minutes. All right, so the cucumbers have finally cooled down. It took a little longer than 30 minutes, but they're nice and room temperature now. So what we're gonna do now is we have, we have six jars, but this says it takes five, but we put six out just to make sure. So we're gonna actually just do one for now and show you guys exactly what we're doing. So the recipe said to take a half a clove of garlic split up. Then it said to take a teaspoon of mustard seed. So we got that. And then we're gonna take a teaspoon and a half of dill seed. And we're gonna do these on every one, but we're just gonna show you on this one. And then a quarter teaspoon of peppercorn. which isn't very much. And then what we'll do next is we will fill these full of cucumbers. And then once we get them all filled up, we will actually go through and pour the remaining juice out of here into all these, close them up, and then we'll show you what we do after that. All right, so we got all the liquid in here, had a little bit left over. We saved about a, a half inch of headspace, measured it out, kind of kind of got some of the bubbles out, even though it really doesn't say that. That's typically what you do when you start canning stuff. And the best thing about this, it's not super critical to rinse the, the tops of the jars. Really, you're just trying to close it up and then put them in the fridge. All right, so now we're gonna stick these in the fridge. Oh, sorry about that. So we got them in here and they need to stay in here and kind of marinate and, and get all goodness uh, kind of co-mingled and uh, come together there for two weeks. So after two weeks and you can take them out and, and eat some. And then after the two weeks, they're good for three months. So I don't know how much you guys eat pickles, but these won't last very long in our household. So we're gonna keep these in here for two weeks and then we'll bring them out and have some yummy, crunchy pickles. Well, folks, hopefully you guys like that uh, to learn how to make some crunchy refrigerator pickles. We cannot wait for the two weeks for those things to kind of marinate and get all goodness mixed up together with them. But guys, thanks for coming back, watching our videos all the way to the end. We really do appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, there's a button right in there. Click subscribe. When that bell comes up, make sure you click that bell so you get notified every time a video comes out. And uh, if you haven't seen us on Facebook or Instagram, those links are down below. We put a lot of different things on those that uh, give you a little uh, heads up of what may be coming on a video next week or the week after that. So guys, thanks again uh, from our homestead to yours. Have a blessed day and we'll catch you in the next video. Bye.